Yes, you can go to Maui, and we tell you why you should go to help our friends there. Our man Frankie whips up another treat, his winter Manhattan. And we go off the beaten path in Vegas for some late night apps. And we have a great stay and play vacation that highlights, wait for it, gator piss. Don't worry, it's a drink. More fun and discoveries coming up on Undercover Jet Center. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, everybody. We are going to be taking you to... I didn't drink. No, you got a drink. If you clink, you, you got a drink. We are going to be taking you to Maui first. But we, we also want to say that this is a video we shot before the horrible August 2023 fires in Maui. But we think, one, you need to see it. And two, you need to go. And you were one of the people who actually went there after the fire to try to help people. Yeah, we went um, after the fires in December and, um, y you know, it's pretty amazing. The people are really heroes. They're amazing and they, they're very hopeful. They want to rebuild and they would love and welcome you to come and travel there. All, all you have to do is be mindful and respectful. And other than that, you're helping Maui by going there. 70 cents of every dollar spent is, comes from travel and tourism. So that's the income of Maui. So if you want to help out, there's also a Maui Strong Fund that we'll put up there. And two of the restaurants we learned, sadly, were <laughs> taken by the fire, but they're very hopeful and they want to rebuild. And we'll put a GoFundMe up for one of them too. And we hope that if you had had time there and, and ate at one of these restaurants, this will bring you cherished memories. <laughs> so. Let's take a look at what we have here on Maui and uh, hopefully you can contribute as well. Cheers. Ah, Maui. It's relaxing, it's fun, it's yummy, and it is beautiful. We've taken you to blissful lavender fields and a winery. And we visited fun places with music, drinks, and food around the island and highlighted family-friendly activities as well. And even shown you how to get a secret Mai Tai. Now this time we take you to some high-life eats on the island of Maui. Maui is one of the younger islands, hence its large landmass. Now it's the second largest island in Hawaii and is known as the Valley Isle. We start on the gorgeous coast of Ka'anapali. Now, it's located on the northwest side of the island and known for its intoxicating sunsets. And the stunning beach views will inspire you to lose your inhibitions and frolic. There is also plenty of crave-worthy food as well. And when you're craving Italian on Maui, we've got you covered. Satisfy those desires at Sele e Pepe. Located on Front Street in Lahaina, this place serves up delicious and authentic Italian, and we'd been dying to get there. Now, the owners are natives of New York and Milan, so you can imagine the handcrafted and artisanal creations they offer. We started off with romaine and lemon parmigiano vinaigrette, their version of a Caesar. Now, with baby romaine, fresh lemon, Dijon, extra virgin olive oil and grated parmesan, you can't go wrong. Next, the Strozapretti con Maui Cattle Company Guanjale di Manzo. It is a mouthful and it's mouth-watering. <laughs> Created with a hand-twisted pasta tossed in an opulent ragu of Barolo-infused local beef cheek, it is on our list of wow dishes. Then, this work of art Spaghetti Neri con Vongole e Enduja, their take on linguine with clams. And it's not your ordinary dish. We told you, this place is different. The Spaghetti Neri is a pasta made with squid ink that has a nice chewy bite and this glorious glossy dark color. It's served with fresh Washington State clams infused with a Calabrian spicy salami paste. That's where the Enduja comes in. Another one to add to our wow list for sure. 
And last, of course, tiramisu for the piece de resistance to end a perfect meal. Creamy and smooth, this is a velvety delight with a kick of espresso. We washed everything down with a beautiful bottle of La Quercia Estates Montepulciano de Bruzzo. It is a nice balance of tannins, acidity, and fruit, making it a perfect complement to the food. Now we promise this hidden gem is one of a kind on the island and absolutely worth the visit at least once, if not many times. Their motto, Ciao, Yo, Aloha, says it all. Now when you want that high-end and elegant dinner, Lahaina Grill is your choice. Absolutely everything on the menu here is fabulous. The moment you step inside, you'll feel gracious and sophisticated Hawaii coming to play. From the fine china and delicately herbed butter to the colorful artwork by one of Maui's premier artists. And with many distinctive accolades and awards, including top 10 fine dining in the U.S., it is a definite special event place. We begin with a silky sweet corn soup with truffle oil and chive creme fraiche. Now it's nothing short of divine decadence in your mouth with a slight kick from mild red jalapeno. And a crispy Caesar with baby romaine, shaved parmigiana, and white Italian anchovies. Yes, you can have it without them, but we suggest trying it with. Then Chef Arnie's homemade meatballs made with veal, pork and beef, ricotta, parmigiano, and mascarpone with a penne pasta tossed in a fresh tomato basil sauce. The presentation is gorgeous with the juicy meatball atop the perfectly al dente pasta. And the fresh caught fish special that day, you'll be so jealous if it's not available, but ask, it's opaca paca. Crusted in Parmesan panko, sautéed to perfection, and served with a large grilled prawn on top. Underneath is the creamiest mozzarella risotto and a lemon thyme champagne bear blanc. Now the chef smashed it out of the ballpark on this one, and as you'd expect, the wine list is impeccable. We had one of our old favorites, the Hartford Court Chardonnay from the Russian River Valley, a beautiful accompaniment to the meal. And for dessert, we got the Signature Sampler, a mini selection of the most popular desserts, and this was a decadent journey all unto itself. Our selection included the vanilla bean-infused creme brulee and a flourless chocolate cake with Kona coffee ice cream. Plus their Signature Triple Berry Pie and the Road to Hana, a mush with layers of chocolate cake, sour cream mousse, and macadamia nut caramel. OMG, just roll us right on out of here. Lahaina Grill is located on Lahaina Luna Road in Lahaina. We recommend you call for reservations and book ahead. Now don't forget one of our faves, Japango at the Hyatt Regency in Ka'anapali. Now we've taken you here before and we needed another quick glimpse and a nod to this sophisticated world-class restaurant. Another spot we've taken you to on Oahu is well-known and beloved. We always have to hit Monkey Pod Kitchen. Brainchild of Peter Merriman, Monkey Pod is a true tribute to -to farm-to-table cuisine. And it's a fun and friendly place with cool vibes to just hang out. Now we kicked it off with the Monkey Pod Mai Tai. It has old Lahaina silver and dark rums, and that is a honey lilikoi foam on top. To eat, we got the margarita pizza with local farm tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, and organic local basil to die for. Their hand-tossed pizza crust is made from scratch with imported Italian flour and baked in a Chiave wood burning oven. We also got the garlic truffle oil fries, fresh cut and loaded with Parmesan cheese and a whole grain mustard aioli. And if pie's your thing, Monkey Pod is your person. All the cream pies are made from scratch, and you will have trouble choosing. We got the banana cream pie with a caramel drizzle. Yum. And the sweet cream chocolate pie. Double yum. And the coconut cream pie. Triple yum. Okay, maybe we're a little excessive, but when you taste (laughs) these pies, you will understand. 
at Monkey Pod, the vibe may be chill, but you're always treated like an honored guest. Now grab your sun hats. We are taking a ride to the legendary southwestern coast of Maui. Wailea, a 30-year-old, 1,500-acre community, is well-known for its high-end shopping, dining, and resorts. So a stop at the elegant Four Seasons Wailea is a must, even if you're not staying there. You'll find plenty of love at this luxurious and stylish resort. We couldn't resist stopping by Ferraro's for a bite and a tropical libation. And the beautiful ocean views with weather that is always sunny and 82 degrees Fahrenheit and more than, it's more than just icing on the cake. We went for their classic Trader Vic Mai Tai, which deliciously exceeded our expectations. It's beautifully traditional and pure with Jamaican rum, orange curacao, and fresh lime. And of course, Lahaina Lemonade. Nice and refreshing. It combines Maui organic ocean vodka, Chambord, and house-made lemonade. The Tamimi Farms gazpacho with fresh carrots, cucumber, Maui onion, and avocado is a delight, especially on a warm and sunny day. And the stone-baked pizza was mouth-watering with a perfect, crispy, smoky crust. We chose the Ferraro's Salsiccia, made with Italian fennel sausage, red onion, and a tomato suco. Pure awesomeness. And no trip to this part is complete without hitting the shops at Wailea for a little shopping spree. Here you'll find high-end shops like Tiffany's, Louis Vuitton, and Gucci along with some local and affordable places, and of course, the omnipresent ABC store. (laughs) Yummy places to eat and some of the best views from a shopping mall that you will ever see. Another Marriott property, the Wailea Beach Resort, is here too. And worth a visit or even to enjoy as your home base. There's so much fabulous food on Maui, and we have just shown you a tiny glimpse of it. Remember, Maui no ko'oi, Jet Setters. Much aloha and cheers to you. And there you have it, uh, one of our views from Maui. And again, uh, this was before the horrible fires of August 2023. And we should also say, you were a resident of Hawaii for many, many years. So obviously, you know, this really touches you. But, uh, but again, like Susan said, you, you can help. Yes, if you want to help, there's the Maui Strong Fund. That's the biggest one, and, and that's the most helpful one to contribute to. We'll put the link up here for you. And there's also a GoFundMe for one of the restaurants that we featured here. Okay, so, and, and go visit. And go visit. Yeah, absolutely. Go that's visit. the biggest help. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, when we come back, we're going to take you to Ohio for a mixologist with an incredible Manhattan that he made for us. So stay tuned. For a refreshing and extremely healthy drink to go with everything, try this one. It is called A1C, and it's conceivably the healthiest drink ever made. A1C is the first scientifically designed diabetic drink in the history of the world and we love it. And it's just not for people with diabetes, although it is great for that. Anyone can enjoy the wonderful health benefits and delicious flavor. Go to a1cdrinks.com to try it and use coupon code JETSETTER1 for a 5% discount. Cheers, JETSETTERS. We are in Cozumel, Mexico. You may have noticed, but the majority of undercover Jet Setter is shot on the iPhone. So that means you can create your own TV show. You may want to have great vacation videos. Well, we've made it easier for you with our book. It's called The TV Studio In Your Hand. It's a quick read, and you can get it here. So bring us along for your next vacation video or your new TV show. Welcome back, and you're never going to guess where we're taking you next. It's can't, can't. You always say Canton. I always say you Canton. Wanna, you want to be in It's Asia. Hong Kong, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Canton, Ohio. And incredibly there, we found a fabulous mixologist at a Hyatt place. That's right. His name is Frankie, and we've actually done a couple of recipes with him. But he showed us this, and it was so inventive. Take a look at Frankie's Manhattan. 
So we found another great bartender here at the Hyatt Place in Canton, Ohio. Here, bartenders multitask as they are front desk staff as well. But Frankie is also a cocktail creator. He has introduced a winter Manhattan for the hotel guests here. And it is quite unique with brown sugar simple syrup, chocolate bitters, and flambéed figs. Now before you meet Frankie and get the recipe, let us taste the Frankie winter Manhattan. Oh my god. That's an so incredible good. Manhattan. I, I mean you could you could do it during the summer, but I, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. It's a winter Manhattan. It's a winter Manhattan for sure. And you taste the brulee. Yeah. That definitely comes through. I, I taste the chocolate yeah. and it really makes the maker's mark more caramelly and rich. And you get a little bit of that fig. Yeah, you get the fig. You really do. It's 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 really worth it. This it's is delicious. a great drink. Oh, it's yeah. delicious. Yeah. And I, I actually like this better than a regular Manhattan, personally. Yep. It's fabulous. Yeah. It'd be hard to make at home just to find the right ingredients because I've had to um, scour a few locations to make the, to find these ingredients. But um, I thought of it um, to make as a winter feature drink for the Hyatt um, here. And um, just got it's got some warmness with the brown sugar simple syrup. It's something a little different people don't usually have with an old fashioned. Very good, very smooth. It's not overly like too, too sweet, even though it does have that brown sugar simple syrup. Um, awesome. The brulee fig just adds a really good uh, note to it. Old fashions usually have like cherries, but that's a very, you know, basic concept. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And figs are also a really cool fruit to work so with. So this is a brandy snifter with sliced figs in it. In order to brulee those, I'm going to put a dash of Everclear, which is 100% grain alcohol in it. Kind of get all the figs soaked in that. And then to brulee it, we are going to light this on fire. Got to do this until the fig kind of bubbles on the outside. That's bruleeing it. Make sure all the Everclear is burned off of that. You don't want to taste that in your drink. Okay, so that's done. Now to make the drink, I'm gonna put ice into a martini shaker, and then some ice into your glass. So that's gonna be two shots of Maker's Mark bourbon, which I don't have a shot glass, but Yeah. This is a brown sugar simple syrup. And then a couple dashes of chocolate bitters. After that's done, you just shake this all up. You can add these figs to the drink. And serve. And there we go. Mm. A little extra. Thanks, Frankie. Cheers to you, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Now, you see how fabulous that was, right? <laughs> and isn't Frankie fabulous too? And you can make Frankie's winter Manhattan for yourself. Just go to our website for the recipe. What's amazing is, is that he also worked the front desk at the same time too. <laughs> yeah. That's what's so cool about him. So it's a very multitasker. Inventive. Very inventive. <laughs> All right. When we come back, we're going to take you to Las Vegas to a bar. Well, it's a bar that kind of gets ready for football season for you. Undercover Jet Setter Welcome is back. booming. We are looking for partners to attract consumers interested in travel, food, mixology, wine, restaurants, and golf. Your business and expertise will be profiled on our shows and online segments that will provide you with valuable marketing tools which you can use on your sites. And your business will also gain exposure to our Undercover Jet Setter global reach of over 120 million across all of our platforms. Drop us a line here and let's partner up together. All right, welcome back. Time to take you to Las Vegas, and we've got this great bar that you want to go to. It's off the strip, but you can go there all night long. It's called Shucks. And it's vintage history that we have in here because it was actually prior to the Raiders coming to Las Vegas. So you'll get a taste of that. 
Who says you can't get great seafood in the desert? That's right. Look at these. Yes, they taste as good as they look. Where are we? At Shuck's Tavern and Oyster Bar, northwest of the Las Vegas Strip. We hit Shuck's late night, past midnight. Hey, it's Vegas, baby. That's right. To visit one of our top jet setter bartenders, Eric Snyder, a.k.a. Fish. As usual, he dazzles us with these late night delectables, two of Shuck's favorite appetizers. Oysters on the half shell, and you got the Dungeness crab. And you, you, you can't find better seafood, and I'm biased, but you can't find a better appetizer for the price. And the seafood here, uh, Eddie, this is the best west of the strip. So you're talking uh, some of the finer restaurants you have on this trip. You can't provide the seafood that we do. So yeah, I would, I would try it. Oh, yes, we did. And he is right. The oysters will make you think you're on the ocean. Fresh, briny, they taste like the clean scent of the sea. And the Dungeness crab was sweet and succulent, perfectly moist. The butter sauce was creamy and luscious. We could sit and dine on these into the wee hours. Fish then recommended a favorite cocktail to complement the seafood, the Hawaiian Tropic. Tropic. If you're going to come to Shucks, which is a seafood place, let's have something that's indigenous to the islands, to, to the shore, and this and that, so... Put some ice in the glass. We're gonna go equal parts right here. A little coconut rum, a little vanilla vodka. Just about like that. Take a little fashioned pineapple juice. And you can do about a quarter of a limb. A little sweet and sour mix. Excuse me. Chuck's is another great part of the Las Vegas food scene that we rave about that draws tourists and locals. When you think of Shucks, you think of, wow, you know, great, great fun, great gaming. They're one of the hugest Chicago Bears bars in Las Vegas. And then again, you have the seafood concept. So everything mixed together is, a, it, it just, it's, it's a recipe for success. Notice he said it's a Bears bar. But here's a jet setter hidden gem. That's right. Fish is a Raiders fan. Listen how he gets back to the Raiders when we ask if only Bear fans can get in here. Well, I don't, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be a Minnesota Viking or Green Bay fan or Detroit Lion fan, but we welcome all. And now that the Raiders are now going to be uh, making their home in Las Vegas starting in the 2020 season. We have 10 TVs in this establishment. Nine can be on the Bears and one will be on the Raiders. And there will be tons of seafood fans here, too, year-round at this 24-hour haunt, just like us. And special thanks to Shucks. And if, if you are in Vegas and you want to go there, it's up in the northwest side of town. But definitely check it out all day long, that's for sure. And stay with us, because coming up, we have got a super fun golf stay-and-play for you to check out. You can find Undercover Jet Setter on Wingding TV, a streaming channel, and so much more. Like us, you can have your own show or channel to promote your business and reach more customers. Because Wingding Media is also a social media and digital marketing giant. Look what they've done for the Ultimate Long Drive Championships. More than a million viewers with 30 licensed partnerships sold around the world. So, check out Wingding.tv to watch Undercover Jet Setter or to create something for your own business. All right, welcome back. We are now going to take you to South Carolina. We're going to Merle's Inlet, and this is a stay-and-play golf vacation that you're going to love. It's near the Marsh Walk, which is it's right on the water. It's a great place to go. ton of restaurants, and... We hit three golf courses. Three golf courses, and a great place to stay, but here's the big thing. We got some gator piss. What? Take a look. Check it out. We are in Myrtle's Inlet, South Carolina, south of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for a golf, foodie, and beach getaway. This is part of the Myrtle Beach Golf Trails Low Country Trail, where you can book it all. This is great for couples or a bunch of guys and gals. Now, first, we hit Wachasaw East. 
This 18-hole course has a Parkland tree-line feel with a bit of a Scottish lynx. It's in great shape with a lush rough and quick greens. Now, play to your distances, don't get greedy, and you can score here. After the round, hit the toasted tea bar and restaurant for some food and drinks. This is a gem. Where else can you get homemade Italian wedding soup like this? The Cuban was delicious with ham, pulled pork, and crunchy pickles. Need some beach time? Nearby Huntington State Beach goes... Four miles. After the beach, hit the Marsh Walk, a collection of restaurants, saloons, and shops in the historic fishing village of Merle's Inlet. First stop should be the Dead Dog Saloon. This is a jumping sports bar and family restaurant. Now, patrons here remember their lost dogs and toast their memories. And it's a good time bar with drinks like gator piss. Yeah, all we know is this is a southern comfort drink that is great. Have Boo Boo's Tender Bites. They are tender and tasty. Next door, hit Wahoo's Fish House for some inventive sushi and meals for all tastes. Then, tee it up at the International Golf Club of Myrtle Beach, a course that honors nations worldwide. Another tight Parkland-style course with lots of trees, water holes, and subtle greens. And you don't need the driver a lot, but you do need to hit it straight. And you'll need an appetite at the International Bar and Restaurant. We got the French Burger a black and blue, slightly blackened with blue cheese. And we also tried this delectable chicken wrap. Another gem course nearby is Blackmore, a Gary Player design we've highlighted before with one of the craziest holes, the eighth hole, that you'll have to make a decision on which tree alley to go for. For dinner, we suggest Frank's Outback in nearby Pauly's Island. Steak is classic here. And they bring in scallops from New Bedford, Massachusetts. Then how about this lobster shrimp martini ceviche style? Perfect for a warm night. And Frank's has inventive cocktails like this gin, cucumber, and basil martini. Now don't worry about drinking. Merle's Inlet has plenty of Uber and Lyft so you can let it flow. Interested in this play and stay? Then check out the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail website or contact your local golf provider. We'll have more for you in upcoming segments. I got to tell you, it was a fun time down there, and it's very enjoyable. A lot of that is really kind of golf heaven. It's all the way from the top of North Carolina down to the south end of South Carolina, where that is. And in another episode, we are going to take you to Caledonia and True Blue, two golf courses that are fabulous that are also down in that area, also with some great food, totally different from what you had here. So that's it for us this time. We hope you've enjoyed this episode, and we'll have a lot more coming, so keep it right here on this channel. Cheers. Cheers. See, I drank that time. You did? Yeah. Yeah, so no yeah. bad luck for you this time. It's true. When you clink, you drink. <laughs> that should be a saying. <laughs>